do if a moose comes wandering into your backyard. Idaho Fish and Game wants you to be careful and respond the right way. Local News 8 reporter Angelina Dixon stopped by Fish and Game today to find out what, what do you do in this situation or anything similar to that. So what did you learn, Angelina? Carol, sometimes it may seem tempting to feed moose or deer that come along in your backyard, but regional op conservation officer Scott Wright of Fish and Game says it's much safer to just leave them alone. If you do see wildlife in your backyard, um, consider yourself lucky. You've got Idaho's wildlife right out your back door. And Wright says they come down the mountains when it's cold and snowing mostly to feed. Moose and other wildlife animals are noted for their taste of fruit and ornamental trees in your backyard. But if it is a, if it is a big animal like a moose or a deer, we ask people to stay inside. Um, don't go outside because the animal be can become startled and it can injure itself or they can become dangerous at times if they feel trapped. Generally, they'll, if they're left alone, they'll just move off on their own. Um, if not, we'd ask people to call us, call the Fish and Game Department or your local sheriff's office. Also, when you're traveling, Wright says pay attention to those deer and wildlife signs you see on the inter interstate and prevent accidents. Reporting live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Angelina Dixon. All right, thanks, Angelina. Wright says if a very large animal ever gets onto the road, mm -hmm. do report that immediately.